Yeah. Okay. Hardware is important. Mm -hmm. You know, if 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 someone wants, someone has um, this is a geek thing, right? We don't think the majority of our customer base will do what I'm about to propose, but uh -huh. there are geeks out there. No, these people this. will. These people yeah. will. Yeah. They'll say, "Hey, I love home automation, mm -hmm. and I want to control my lights and my blinds mm -hmm. in my home theater, and." Um, and hey, there's this company that makes this 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 application that runs on Windows that does home control. There's a litany of them out there. There's probably five or six or maybe even a dozen products out there in the market you can download for free or buy that run on Windows as a service and um, will over net, the network or RS232 or whatever control your home automation system. Hmm. Um, well, you can take one of those products and as long as it installs on Windows Server, you can actually put it on queue. On your queue box. Can you actually term, uh, use terminal service services to get into your boxes? Yeah, you can. We have so we we think about the product. Um, we we have two types of users of the product. Internally, in Microsoft, we use the term persona to describe users, and, and so we have two personas or archetypes of the product. The first one, the primary one, is Peter. Peter is not a geek. He's a typical consumer. The thing that dis that that disambiguates him from other consumers is his household has multiple PCs and a broadband network in it. Okay. Nothing more. That's all. That's all. He's not. He he may be an Excel jockey at work, right? At home, he's the one that that the kids and the mom go to when something's wrong. He may not be able to help them, but he's the one they go to. Okay. He, um, and that's Peter, and that, that's our primary target. We have another persona that we enable. His name's Sam, um, or her name is Sam, and Sam is a geek. Sam is buying Windows Home Server because uh, Sam understands the power that it has and, and, and is interested in, in as much of getting the value out of the product but also playing with it. Mm -hmm. um, and Sam will be able to remote desktop to what we call the administrator's desktop and he'll see a start menu. Hmm. Um, and, and if he knows how to do it or she knows how to do it, be able to go and find the MMC snap in. Okay. Um, so we don't expose that stuff uh, directly, but it's there. Okay, it, this is kind of interesting, right? Because I mean, Microsoft has been pushing out in different areas, you know, over the past few years with consumer uh, uh, devices. You know, I mean, the Xbox is, you know, probably the most visible, yeah. right? The one that everybody thinks about. And one of the first things people try to do with the Xbox, at least out there in the wild, you know, they try to mod it. You know, they want to modify it. And it almost sounds like instead of fighting that, you guys are saying, "Go ahead," you know, like, "Here's the box. It's got all the bits. You know, make your modifications and and you know, do it to it." I mean, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to be involved in the first version of Windows Media Center Edition. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's the other thing I was thinking about. And um, while well, we were super proud of that product and we, we, mm -hmm. we had a lot of fun building it and a lot of challenges and so forth, at the end of the day, there was one thing that we wished we could have done better mm -hmm. when we first released it was make it so that the hardcore enthusiast loved the product. Mm -hmm. And initially they didn't because it was it was locked down in a couple of places. And it was locked down for good reasons. It was very hard to the hardware at that time was really fragile and so forth. And and so like like supporting HDTV uh, in the oh, first yeah. version right. yeah. and the amount of APIs we had, it was difficult. So the hardcore technical enthusiasts when we really wanted to dig in were kind of turned off a little bit. And that was a bummer for a lot of us. Yeah. We wished we could have done it. With 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 Windows Home Server, we're explicitly saying that we want consumers to have a great experience with this product. We want it to be a very much a consumer, not geek product. Yeah. But at the same time, we want to make sure that enthusiasts love it. Mm -hmm. And so we've done some things that 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 are now allow the enthusiast who wants to kind of crack the the the, the imaginary, you know, if you take this off the warranty's void sticker off. We've actually enabled right, the that. mattress type. That's right. Um, so do you have any examples that you've thought about that you could share? Or is that all kind of hush hush like Ways that people could expand this. You know, well, I already process. talked about one with the home automation example. Where right. You could just take a, um, a, 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 um, a third-party product that runs on Windows and install it, and and um, in, in many cases it'll just work, and then we'll work over time with with the ISV community mm -hmm. to make sure that those products can install seamlessly and so forth. So we have have capabilities there. Mm -hmm. um, but another example would be um, uh, if you if if you're a developer. In, in your home, and you want to write some scripts that take some files that you store in the home server and automatically do something with them. So, uh, one example would be um, you have a digital p picture frame in your house. Okay. Okay. And the digital picture frame uh, has the ability to um, to read photos off of a um, off of a file share. Right. You can write a script that automatically picks some of the photos from your normal folder share and copy them into that file share that the digital picture frame um, read. Okay. And um, it would and it would just work. Right, but you'd, as a developer, you'd, you'd have to do that yourself. 
on your home server. So you're saying a very geeky thing. No, no, no. We've talked so far a lot about the stuff that happens within the home, but you mentioned, you know, around the beginning that this can go beyond, mm -hmm. right? Um, now, I mean, that kind of blows my mind, right? Like, would I be able to, for example, watch like a show that I had recorded um, from a, like remotely or a movie or yeah. anything? In the first version of the product, we don't directly support the scenario you described, where you're actually streaming video off of the home server over the internet to somewhere remotely on the on the on on the internet via web browser, but that's something that someone, a third party, or someone who is smart and geeky and really wanted to dig in there could make happen. It can happen, okay. Because um, because the support is there to do that. That's actually really cool. That's something that I think a lot of people miss about Microsoft, right? Like, you know, Microsoft puts out these products and intentionally leaves room for third parties to innovate and, and, and build on, you know, so that you create, like, a thriving community. I just want to make sure everybody knows this, you know, because a couple people are going to go, well, you know, it would have been cool to have that in there, right? But at the same time, you know, you're helping to maybe build a business by letting somebody else put their software on this uh, uh, home server, you know, and, and build a business around that, you know? I love and that's that. Actually, that's actually really, really cool. Uh, you know? and, and I, I'm, I'm super passionate about um, the, the mother-in-laws and the, the family members that will find this product and it will solve their problems. <laughs> yeah. But I'm kind of a geek myself. Yeah. People who know me know I'm really a geek. Uh, no, I, if you look around, I'm you sweating from office. your. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can't see insane. it, but he's got like five thousand. Anyway, yeah, yeah, you know, big blinky things. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, and so, and, and I love the idea of enabling um, third parties to build on top of something. Mm -hmm. And I love the idea that, that I have no idea what they're going to build. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and it fascinates me. And I mean, I'm, I can't wait for us to release our beta and for it to get out into the wild and for people to, to start saying, hey, we tried this on it and how do we make this work? And um, and I think that's pretty cool. So the next thing that people are going to be thinking about geeks, right, you know, these people, is they're going to be, they're going to be going kind of like they were with Windows Media Center, right? And I mean, I'm sure that you're painfully you know familiar with this scenario. Is they're going to want to know how to build their own, you know, box. Is mm -hmm. that going to be possible? It is. Oh, really? Well, they want. Oh, so. At the end of the day, what would you say, like, uh, uh, are the best features of this product? Like, if, if I'm a geek and I buy this thing and I set it up at home, you know, just bullet points. Like, what are going to be the best things? What am I really going to notice about it? So if we're talking, about, if I'm answering the question for someone who truly is a geek, mm -hmm. who's a Sam, um, you're getting the most powerful operating system on the planet um, uh, that you can use at home um, to do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, you, it, okay. it, it, I mean, it's all there. Hmm. Um, there are some minor limitations, but um, uh, from a geek's perspective, you get that plus you get, is built in part of the product, um, a fantastic, really, really cool backup system for backing up all your data in your client PCs. How's that going to work? I mean, I'm, I'm honestly curious because backing up is something that I don't traditionally do just because I hate it. Mm -hmm. I honestly yeah. hate it. It's I call that meta work, which right. is the work you have to do to get your real work done. You know, it's what I don't want to do. Yeah. So how does that work? Like, you got your network and you got your, 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 your uh, what do we call it? Windows Home, home Server. Windows Home Server. So you've got that set up again? So you, you, you buy the product, plug it in, plug Ethernet and power in. Mm -hmm. You go to a client PC, you run our client software that, that adds some bits to your client machine. We, we call them computers and we call the bits we add to the client machine a connector. Okay. Um, and after you do that, we've installed some code that runs on a client that um, uh, every night backs up hmm. your client to the server and allows you to get either at any point in time to restore a file or folder from the server or rest restore your entire PC. Cool. And it does it in a in a it's it's trick. The way it works is um, and we have we have some incredibly sharp people on the team that have built an amazing piece of technology for this. And I can't talk about it a lot about. Yeah, the I was just gonna ask. <laughs> but um, yeah. it's uh, it's very cool. And when people experience it, they'll, they'll be blown away. Huh. Okay. And um, uh, this is something that you probably can't really answer, but I have to ask anyway because I'm curious. Do you have any idea like what the price point is going to be? I know it's going to come out. I mean, so many OEMs. Mm -hmm. There's no way to guarantee anything. Right. But is there like a range that you have in mind? Um, yeah, it's a tough question to ask because it really is up to the OEM at the yeah. end of the day, and we haven't finalized on all the pricing of things. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it will be competitive with other other products that are out there. Probably like the cost of a, like a computer, like a desktop. Um, a low end desktop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, cool. 
that's actually a really good story. All right. Um, well, hopefully, maybe I can check in after 